it's mentally for myself and for Holly, it's been a tremendous amount of stress. I mean, we put a ton, a ton of time and our own personal funds into this development and to get this product ready for them and to not even have a chance to, to roll it out to the whole staff was just a huge blow to us. Um, and so, yeah, so it's just been tough these past couple days to, to not, not be able to have that in the wind column, you know, it was our main focus to come out here, so. All right, hey you guys. Uh, we are on our way back to the Northwest. Um, we finished up our last day in uh, North Carolina. I had my last uh, book signing out there, uh, headed to the East Coast, which was in Graham, North Carolina. Cute little coffee shop, little Christian bookstore and coffee shop. Um, so we had our last book signing there. They had a little street fair going on. So it was, it was neat. It's a quaint little town. Uh, some cool photos there. There's a, the iconic statue of the uh, sailor kissing that lady on the street. Uh, I think it was in New York, maybe. In this. So they've got uh, that giant um, statue there, which was pretty cool. We got to see that. And uh, yeah, just a cool little town that we got to hang out in. Now we're on our way back. We drove about five hours today after that and got, we're in Georgia somewhere. Got to Georgia, just across the border in Georgia. And uh, we were gonna stop and stay in this little hotel. We thought, oh yeah, we'll stay in this little hotel. A little quiet one. It's super busy around here because I guess there's some game going on. I don't know, some, I think college football. I don't know, Some something's happening. No idea what, but everywhere was booked. And so we found this, this little hotel. We're like, all right, we'll stay here. And, we show up, we go inside, and oh my gosh, you guys, this place was so dirty. Like, I'm a janitor, okay? And so, I mean, I know I got high standards, but this place was like, wow, man. Uh, it didn't look like the microwave had been cleaned in a month. You know, there was, like the center of the room was vacuumed, but that was it. Uh, I'll show you, look at the, the sheets. Um, they didn't have a, a king bed or a queen, so it was just two twins. We're like, whatever. We pull the covers back on one of them, and there's cigarette burns in it. And I'm like, what? Cigarette burns on the sheets and on the blankets. And I'm like, oh, this does not look good. So we peel back the other bed, and man, <laughs> there were big old holes in it, and they had like stitched it up by hand. It was ridiculous. I was like, I am not day in here like I'll go sleep in the Burger King parking lot in my van like I am not staying in this place and the more I looked like the more stuff I found and I was just like oh I am not staying and I've stayed in some shady places man overseas like in Cambodia uh, and in Brazil and in Africa like I've stayed in some shady places but this place whoo wee I don't know I was uh it's like, no, nope, I'm gonna go sleep in my van. It's way more comfortable and, and it's clean. Um, so that's what we're doing. We just like, it's late. It's like almost eight o'clock here and uh, we're tired of driving. And so, yep, we're just gonna sleep in the Burger King parking lot and uh, you know, get started in the morning. It'll be totally fine. We got everything we need in here. We got a bed, shower, toilet, sink. I can make coffee. Like this is a house on wheels. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Um, you know, the past couple of days been been really tough. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. It, it's been really tough. We were supposed to be working a deal uh, with a hospital system out here for the app to get it uh, rolled out in their whole hospital system. And so we've been working on this for about a year. Uh, they've done a pilot study and we had great results with it. It's in a clinical trial right now, which is about to end. Again, the results are really good uh, on this app. It's showing that it's effective and it's, it's literally saving lives. We can quantify that. We can see that in the data that we're literally saving lives with this app. Um, and so we came out here to show them our rollout plan for their whole hospital system. And uh, a couple days before we got here, the, the mandate came out saying that they were having no in-person meetings. And I was like, oh no, that's not good. 
Um, and then it got extended a little bit further to no meetings at all, even virtually, like no meetings at all, um, unless they're directly COVID related. And so we're like, well, perfect. Like this is mental health. It, it has to do with COVID. That's why, you know, the nurses and the staff, they have, um, you know, extra stress on them. And this is to help them create better mental resiliency and prevent suicide. Uh, this is directly related, but they didn't think so. So they didn't say, they didn't think it was directly COVID related. They said it was indirectly. And so we weren't able to have our meeting. So the main reason that we came all the way out here um, to North Carolina was to be able to, to do this meeting and, and give them this rollout strategy and start putting this app in the hands of the, the rest of their staff so we can start helping them create more mental resiliency and, and literally start saving lives. I mean, it's, it's, it's already doing that. We can see that on the small scale. So once we roll it out, we know we'll be able to help a lot more people. So the project isn't dead, it's just pushed back and it's really, really uh, heartbreaking for us because we've just put our whole lives into this thing, you know, over these last couple years have been dedicated to creating this technology, getting it in the hands of the right people and then watching the effectiveness of it. And so we have a product that we know works, that we can see the results, that we can see that it's helping people um, and to not have the chance to roll it out. It's not like we missed the missed the boat on this thing, you know, or did something wrong. We didn't even have a chance to get out there and uh, and get this thing rolling for the whole hospital system. I mean, I'm not giving up, you know, eventually this thing will slow down, but I just hope that we don't lose too many more people in the process. You know, I wanna get this thing out and in the hands of people who need it so we can start saving lives on a large scale. So it's, Mentally, for myself and for Holly, it's been a tremendous amount of stress. I mean, we put a ton, a ton of time and our own personal funds into this development and to get this product ready for them and to not even have a chance to, to roll it out to the whole staff was just a huge blow to us. Um, and so, yeah, so it's just been tough these past couple of days to, to not, not be able to have that in the wind column, you know, is our main focus to come out here. So. We're just hoping that this opportunity comes sooner than later because we know it's helping people. We can see the data. We see that it's, it's literally saving lives. So, I mean, if you're out there and you're an administrator of a hospital group or a police department or a large organization and, and you want to get this technology and you want to get it in the hands of your people, you reach out to me directly. I can help you do that. I can show you how it's going to work. Uh, when I get back to Seattle um, in late October, uh, I'm going to be rolling this out for a group. I'm not going to mention who they are, but they're a pretty high, high profile group uh, in the Northwest. And so I'll, I'll wait to make that announcement, but uh, it'll be exciting to get it in the hands of these guys because I know that they're going to put it in the hands of their members of their team and be able to help them create better mental resiliency. So that's what I got, guys. That's what we've been dealing with. And uh, just keep us in your prayers, you know, as we travel back. We've got a few more stops to make on the book tour, which is, is really cool. It's going really well. Um, but it was a huge blow to us to not even be able to present our rollout strategy for this app. Um, so just keep that in prayer, you know, that, uh, that the hearts and the minds of those in charge of that that healthcare system that they uh, that they see the value in this and they want to get it rolled out as quick as possible. So, all right, love you guys and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Look at these two little turkeys. They're chewing bones. Look at that. She is chewing her bone right on top of his legs, and he's chewing his right next to her. These two guys are so funny.